What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I did something fairly recently and I've been keeping it under the wraps. And honestly, I don't have much time to describe or explain or go in depth about it because we have really good weather right now here in Indiana. Um, we're looking at like, what is the temperature? 55 degrees. It's a beautiful day. I've only got a few hours to fish, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take those few hours. I'm gonna go with Mr. Josh Shrinko, co-owner of Achigan brand. Smalley Games 2022 has begun, just dropped on the 1st of March this year. Anyway, on to the actual portion of the video I wanted to, I was alluding to. I am no longer a member of Native Watercraft Pro Team. No, no reason, no bad reasons why I left. I just wanted to try something else. So anyway, enough about that. Awesome kayaks, by the way, Native Watercraft, they're fantastic. But I wanted something different. So let's take a look at what I, uh, what I got. Ah, the big unveil. Yeah, baby. Check it out. Boom. Uh-oh. There it is. Got me a 2022 Hobie Outback. I mean, there's really not much to go over here. I'm not a part of their team, anything like that. I've just, you know, after watching our buddy Nathan Pickering pick apart all those spots last May while we were fishing and just absolutely just fish around us like it was like he was in a Ferrari. <sighs> I was like, man, I gotta get one of those. And so I kind of dropped a hint on my wife and she surprised me with uh, with it and said, we need to go pick it up. Shout out to Strictly Sale in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio or Cincinnati area. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description or even up on the screen here, but I ended up messaging them and they immediately responded and say, yeah, we got them in stock. Basically just order it, come get it. They were two hours away. So that's what I did. But uh, yeah, super awesome people, super awesome customer service. Went and picked it up. They gave me like a rundown anyway. Shout out to them. Shout out to the new kayak. Shout out to my wife. But yeah, let's get this thing loaded up because Josh is gonna be at his house in probably like 10 minutes. And I gotta hurry up and get over there so we can go get this thing on the water. So we have some time to try to get some fishing done. Try to get on the board for Smalley Games 2022, baby. have the paddle out of the packaging yet, guys. That's how new this thing is. <laughs> the only thing that I've done to this thing is registered it for the warranty. I haven't opened the booklet it comes with. Dude, I haven't even I haven't even sat in this thing. I have no idea how to use the seat. Probably not the best idea to put this thing on the river to try to get used to it. With swift current, you got the kick up fins with this thing. I've never used one, completely foreign to me, but you know what, YOLO, you know what I'm saying? Is it even used anymore? Is YOLO even a thing? I'm using it. Wow, that was an ordeal. Got the kayak cart, super excited about that. One thing's for sure is I need to build a freaking kayak cart that I can move around my garage, make it easier to load this freaking thing. You know what I mean? Go ahead and strap her down here. And then I will see you guys at the river. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to also mention that I finally got, finally. A little late to the game, but what are you gonna do? Everything's expensive, dude, so you guys know how it is. Anyway, let's get on the road. What's up? You okay? All right, man. We kind of made it. <laughs> yeah, I should have been earlier when I was huffing and puffing, about to have a heart attack. I didn't get you falling. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to get this kayak launch people understand the lengths we go through. Yeah, look at this. The takeout's worse. And the bad part is, like, I know, like, because we've done this, like, I've only been here once, one other time, but... I know what we got coming. How deep is it right here? Probably like 10 feet. Yeah, I fished here while you're, while you're taking your little sweet time. Don't fall again, break your cockix, dude. <laughs> God. I'll get everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna do this, honestly. Why did why like why wouldn't I have put my kayak anchor in my thing? Surprised I didn't go in the water, honestly. Hey, do you feel like you need a uh, paddle? I have Def a bunch of one in my kayak. Defibrillator? I'm just waiting for something to bounce out into the water. You got all that shit? Yeah. I got, yeah, all right. Dude, Josh is a beast. That's all there is to it. Look at him. He's just over there, like, recreationally doing squats as I'm trying to come down here. Yeah, I'll just do some squats in the sand while I'm waiting. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, dude. Well, I don't have my anchor connected. Come on, buddy. Too damn long, baby. All right. You go ahead and, uh, there you go, there you go. No, yeah, I got it. You go ahead and do what you need to do. I'm not rushing anymore, so if you need to leave me here for the night, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, you got an emergency one, right? That I was gonna use, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> yeah, I forgot my paddle too, guys. Typical Burton shenanigans. Okay. Welcome back to the channel. You know, the one thing though is I haven't lost a rod yet, so there's that. The plug. Yeah. That's a. I guess I can step in here, huh? Don't you? Uh, I'd probably, yeah, I'll be, probably not, but I'll be fine, dude. I don't, I don't even know how to work anything on this thing yet. I can already tell I'm really gonna like this Anchor Wizard. Is it worth how much I paid for it? I don't think so, but what's worth, you know what I mean? Let's just get in this thing, you know? I don't even, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think I just released, I think I just released the, uh, am I going forward? Oh, dude, we're going forward. Look at that. Clearly should have adjusted the throw on my uh, thing, so I guess I could still do that. There we go. I'm anchored. Let's go ahead and adjust these bad boys. This is gonna be one shitty video. How do I adjust these? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Got it. Oh yeah. A little too far forward with the pedals currently, so I'm gonna come to five with them. There we go. Holy cow, this thing turns on a dime. Probably help if I pull my anchor up. So really, this is what this is all about, man. It's just really just trying to figure out this kayak, mainly. I mean, I wanted to come fish, obviously, but I really wanted to get out here and try this thing out. I'll tell you all one thing, I've probably said it before, neoprene waders. While great for winter fishing when it's like below zero fishing, not the best when it's pushing 60. First cast in the hobes. Right now, my fins are against the hole of the kayak and I'm just flutter kicking. That's how freaking Nathan was doing that shit, dude. They're just like this. Unreal. It's no wonder. This did like people can you want to talk about efficiency. I'm coming over there. I need to put it in forward though I'm Trying to figure it out man. We're gonna lay some education down with the audience real quick So let me get up there. Do you see that cast up in that pocket though fellas? You think you're dealing with amateurs out here? You better think again, dude. Okay, so okay, so okay, so I'm about to f your shit up here. Oh shit Okay, so what's up? What's the knowledge? So I'm just gonna we're, we're basically the very beginning of March. We're March 1st right now. Yep But it's light warming trend. Yep Okay so, oh, I would say more than slight. <laughs> yeah, but it's only been like two days. True. The water temperature, and we really haven't had rain, so the water temperature hasn't come up a ton. I, I don't know what it is right now. I would say, if I was guessing, it's warmer than I thought. 44? I wouldn't even say that. It's probably like Less. 42. 42, 43. 42, um, so the fish will probably be, be a little more active than they otherwise wise would. I don't think they're going to be changing locations a ton. We might find some big ones cruising. That's what you'll find right now. That's what I'm fishing for. You notice he's throwing the spinner bait with the big uh, day glow Colorado blade. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're they're probably still relating to winter holes for the most part, but you will get some bigger fish that'll start cruising and sort of making their way towards spawning grounds. Um, so if you kind of know where spawning grounds are and you know where the winter holes are you're going to be able to target uh, where this fish might be. They're going to be somewhere in between there. I want to go hit that little outlet right there. But that's true though. I mean, everything you just heard, 100% accurate. You heard it from a legend, so you better freaking heed that advice. I've always wondered what those sound like. Now I know, those motorcycles, man. I wish my mom could have heard that. So what he said there before that badass Harley just drove over the bridge is that if you've ever wondered, you know, you need to work those spinner baits extremely slow. I mean, you're probably letting it scoot across the bottom, bumping it into stuff. Yep, bumping the bottom. That's what I like to do, bump the bottom, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try a little uh, crankbait real quick. There you go. I'm telling you when I was fishing during my lunch break, uh, I think it was yesterday, I got bumped. Almost positive. Probably a dead body, but holy smokes. This would have been a paddle area for sure. You good on that side? Oh my God. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. We're good. Yeah. I'm just flutter kicking right now, dude. This is this is sick. I'm digging this. Honestly, I want to fish right there. It doesn't look very deep though. I'll just drag it one time down through there. I mean, if you think about it, when it gets flooded, they can them fish can stack up behind those rocks because we're looking for areas that are protected, especially in the wintertime. We're looking for deeper holes and you know, the depth is relative to the size of river you're fishing. So I would say for a river this size, and this is just kind of an estimate, I would say five to six feet. Josh has got a fish on. We're heading that way. Five to six feet. I would say, no, I'm sorry, five to five to eight feet and those holes need to be protected. Um, and what I mean by protected is areas with cover that 
you know, is protected from wind. Like when you've got a lot of, a lot of current from flooding that we always get in the winter time, you know, early, early, early spring, late winter, those eddies are protected so that they can expend as little amount of energy as they can uh, to, to, you know, to get, to get out of that high muddy water. They can just tuck in behind rocks, ledges, you know, ledges are a great spot to fish. Deep ledges are a great spot to fish in the winter time. Dude, Josh is on the board. And look what we've, look what we've got here. We've, you can tell, you can see cause of the, well, you can't see, but I've got glasses on. Is that a, what about a 16? Looks like we've got almost, is that a ledge right there? Just a washed out little bank. Pretty deep, huh? First fish of the year, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hip thrusters? Free the fighter. Spinnerbait. What was that? Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. Dude, first spinnerbait fish of the year. I caught a little fish here last or last time we were here. We were just, man, that's ironic. We've got this deep hole right here. We've got good cover. We got a root ball right there. Right in that root ball. Got it. I, I, at least I did, I did catch one fish last time we were here. Dude, you know what's funny is that's the first time I had my, when I used my other kayak, my first. No, I didn't flip it that time, no. Yeah, I did, yep. That that was that big kayak I had, the huge one. Hell, bro. Me you don't weigh 240. Yeah, it's, it, God gave me the beach so I could try to like this. That's a terrible position to be in. Jesus criminy. Look at the stuff we go through, guys. <laughs> Somebody lose a white claw? Somebody's down here getting drunk on white claws, dude. <sighs> I think I've got everything strapped down. Yeah. You're worn out there, bud. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I am so, God, dude, I am so out of shape. Shit, dude, you're I, an old fucking man. <laughs> you got diabetes. <laughs> I got freaking Wilford Brimley up in here. I don't know who that is. He's the guy that. Diabetes. Diabetes, yeah. You're gonna get an umbilical hernia, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, I clearly need to work out. You're a beast. Yeah, you want me to bring your truck over here? Just carry the kayak. Okay. You sure? Oh, okay. Please. So there it is, y'all. That's my 2022 Hobie Outback. Can't wait to fish this thing this year. Maybe do some more tournaments. Since this video, I've been out two or three more times, and I've I've gotten pretty used to it. And I can honestly say that this is, without a shadow of a doubt, the ultimate river fishing kayak. It's it's incredible. Um, and I. I'll go in more in detail in, in future videos, but for now, <laughs> that is what it is. Um, I wanted to say real quick before we get out of here that, um, first of all, I appreciate you guys stopping in, and I appreciate you guys watching, but from this point going forward with my YouTube channel, I want to focus more on pushing content out as opposed to fluffing up my videos and adding a bunch of editing techniques and all that crap. That's my main problem is, is consistency. I'm not going to have a set date. You know, every Friday I'm going to put out a video. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to try to get content out as much as I can. And so with that being said, from this point forward, <laughs> there's probably going to be a lot of, you know, just craziness with my videos because I've got videos that I'm sitting on that, you know, from, from last year. So just stay tuned for that. It's fishing. It is what it is, whatever. So I think the main reason me saying that is I think with when I say stuff on camera, I'll hold myself accountable more. So stay tuned for uh, hopefully a lot more videos. Anyway, thanks for stopping in, guys. Hope you appreciate. Hope you like the video, and um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.